Donner Pass sees some of the heaviest snowfall in the United States. Its annual average precipitation is 54 inches. Since most of that falls in the form of snow, that translates to over 415 inches of snow per year. Wind is also an issue in the Sierra Nevadas. Gusts over 100 miles per hour are common when winter storms slam into the pass. This is exactly what we faced during our January 2010 visit to Donner. Despite the weather, the main line must stay open. And like the mountains, the trains themselves take on a whole new appearance. We are back in Truckee. This time, the empty yard is a hive of activity, as this is the base for Union Pacific's snow fighting operations on Donner. Three spreader sets are seen in the yard, including the newly refurbished SPMW 4031 and 4032. Several GP38-2s have icebreakers and winter windows installed. At the time of our visit, double stack trains were fairly new to the hill, having just come off the Feather River Canyon two months earlier. An eastbound rolls through Truckee, while a westbound waits for a clear shot through the big hole. UP-600 enters Truckee, pulling a flanger used for removing snow from between the rails. During our five-day visit in January, UP-600 was always on the move, flanging between Truckee and Fulda west of Emigrant Gap, and even making trips to Sparks. After being turned on the balloon track, the 600 flanger is sent back up the mountain. Another winter storm is slamming into the Sierras, and crews will be busy tonight, keeping the main line open. As the flanger departs Truckee, the radio crackles with activity as spreaders are readied in the yard. The 600 diverges onto the number two track as it departs west out of Truckee. Moments later, an eastbound empty grain train appears on track one through the snow. 
The clear block for Main 2 is for a stack train which will follow the flanger up the hill. Truckee is at an elevation of 5,817 feet, and there is considerable snow on the ground here. Snowshoeing into Norden at over 7,000 feet, we find considerably more. These snow sheds look a bit different than they did during our September visit. From the old number one track which was removed, we view a westbound stack train as it approaches Norden after exiting Tunnel 41. Snow is piling up around the lodge at Soda Springs as we set up on a snowbank to catch another westbound stack train appearing out of Winter's White.
The visibility has decreased as UP-600 flanges past our location at Soda Springs. Behind the flanger, an eastbound BNSF trackage rights train works upgrade. Back in Truckee, the weather worsens as UP-600 is ballooned again and sent back up the mountain. Although it's hard to tell, UP 5710 is holding short of the Soda Springs crossing for traffic to clear through the big hole. The wind kicks up the snow as westbound stacks approach. Moving farther down the mountain between Soda Springs and Troy, UP-600 heads down track two, escorting the westbound California Zephyr, which is just a few miles behind.
Photographer Kevin Dorn weathers a storm while waiting for our next move. Two spreaders are on their way back up the mountain after working down to Fulda. Soon they appear coupled together on the number one track with the nose plow of SPMW 4034 cleaning the snow from between the rails as it passes by. Spreaders me to westbound Z. Another westbound stack train passes our location near milepost 188.5. The next morning finds a temporary reprieve from the snow. Even the sun tries to break through the winter clouds at Troy, milepost 185.3. This morning, both tracks are out of service as two spreaders work west of Truckee, clearing the snow that fell overnight. The SPMW 4034 is in the lead, working the number two track, shoving snow onto the number one. About 30 minutes later, the second spreader, SPMW 4030, kicks snow off the lower Cascade Bridge. The spreader continues clearing the remaining snow off the number one.
Working up grade to the curve we visited back in September, UP600 is again escorting Amtrak 5 on Main 2. Heading toward the lower Cascade Bridge, we catch the ZCSLT, an expedited Chicago to Lathrop train as it approaches the same curve. Arriving at the Lower Cascade Bridge, we set up for a shot of a westbound stack train. As the afternoon wears on, the snow picks up again, adding another layer of white to the scene. Over 50 inches of new snow has fallen from the recent storms. Moving down to Yuba Pass, the 4034 emerges from Tunnel 35 on the single track. Thank you. 
the crew pauses to extend both wings before continuing down the hill. After a long day of spreading on the hill, the newly refurbished 4031 leads the train back to Truckee. Their job is done for now, but with the snow continuing to fall, these snow fighters will be back on the rails soon, keeping the line clear over legendary Donner Pass. If you enjoyed this program, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to watch more videos added weekly. You can also purchase Donner Pass, Stacks in the High Sierras in its entirety on DVD, Blu-ray, and digital download by logging on to 7ideaproductions.com. There is a link in the description below. And as always, until next time, thanks for watching.